Greetings and gratitude to all life forms and life workers who have found this. Happy birthday, January 23rd. I hope you are having a powerful and glorious day. This video is intended for those who are born on this day who would like to learn more about this archetype or who just would like to learn more about the 365 daily zodiacs. Welcome. I will be using the Element Encyclopedia of Birthdays by Teresa Chung and the Beyond the Maria Oracle Cards as reference, and I will strap for my own information. Please let your free will supersede anything I say. Of destiny and outcome, your deciding factor is more powerful than any predestined archetype that you might fall into because we all have multiple archetypes and other forces within us. So January 3rd, you are the dissenter. In a group of people that all think one thing is right, you have a tendency to be that person who looks at the situation as a possible right because they think it's wrong or a possible wrong because they all think it's right. You're able to see the dissenting opinion. You're able to be the devil's advocate in a way. You're able to see that there's a different perception than what everyone else is agreeing. You don't just blindly obey the rules. You see the rules and then you break them in a way that is respectful. Uh, so to continue off the idea that these words are positive or negative, or labels, take them as you will, give them the energies you would like. Because on your dark side and at your best side, you can be very principled but isolated. You're rebellious, but you're courageous. You're troubled, but you're independent. I will also add that you are dynamic, but stagnant. You wait, but you know when the waiting is over. Your affirmation or power thought is today I will share my dreams with others. Another way to phrase that is my ambitions are contagious. Or phrase that any way you want. The words or energies are your own. You might have a great challenge of insecurity that you're not good enough. The best way to overcome that is to see your support system, to see the people around you, communicate with them, have that dialogue, have that discourse, because your own natural nature is to create growth habits, to create changing patterns within you that will always grow. You are an inspirational figure, even if you don't know it. You inspire people. You create change by just being who you are. Other people find ambition from you. However, it's always important that you are yourself, you believe in yourself, you are your own cheerleader, you have your own back. That is always necessary in your life. On some occasions, you might feel this death of understanding. You might feel that everything around you is so much deeper and profound than you've ever thought, but it's going to expand outward through understanding. You might have a fixation on the abstract or the things that other people can't perceive or the ideas that others don't understand. In relationships, in partnerships, you might be a rebel in your thoughts and your ideas of the world around you. If you didn't already know, your sun sign is an Aquarius. Your ruling planet is the visionary. And your birthday ruler is Mercury, the communicator. It is really important for you to find your own dialogue, your own way of communicating. And favorable numbers are 5 and 6. Lucky days are Saturday and Wednesday, especially on the 5th or 6th day of the month. Your colors are aqua, marine, blue, green, and purple. Amethyst is your birthstone. And you have a natural radiance that others might call artificial, that others may perceive as not being natural, not being real. But you know that it is. It is so natural that it appears artificial. So destiny, again, your free will can supersede this. The life path for you is to really find your progress, to firmly stand your ground and know that your rebellious actions and, and feelings are going to change. But what are you changing should be thought of. And know that your great this destiny is to shine a whole new light on the things that have been hidden, the things that have been not understood. You will shine that light of dissension on it so people can see that this fundamental error can be shifted. It only has to take a, one dissenter for, to point something out and then it can change. Your career is really drawn to anything that stimulates you constantly 
something that gives you challenge in your brain to move. Maybe business. This could be charity work. This could be uh, on a rebellious side of an entrepreneur, uh, a destructive entrepreneur, like someone who's destructive to industries that might have been stagnant or corrupt. I'm also getting really strong energy of whatever career you want is going to be good for you if you do it in your own unique and powerful way that only you can and see the issues or problems that others don't see and lean into being the solution for those and you will be successful in almost any career path you are drawn to. You have a very can-do at attitude and charisma but sometimes you feel like you're not worthy of the things you want you feel like you can't deserve the things you have to you. And materialistic motivations may manifest in your reality. The best way to overcome them is to look inward and see that you are that well, that depth of strength. The image I'm getting really strong is one person humming when everyone else is singing. There's a group of many people singing all together and one person is mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and in their own way that's the image I get to you I hope you ha have found some resonance in this message I will now move on to your card shine your light you are a luminous force of reality within you is that mermatic or mermaid light force Pull back the veil. Pull the luminous qualities of life out of you. Let them shine. Let them reflect. And let them react in the world around. Know that your majesty is from the mind. What you think is what you create. Your affirmation could be the light of my life is sh shining luminously. Or phrase it any way you would like. The light of my life is shining luminously. Because as you project light, there must also be shadow. That shadow is of the light, even though it perceives to all around it, and is perceived all around it as darkness. But when you can perceive, and even just remove perception, and just be, observe, and understand, that light and darkness are connected together. They are one and the same, it's just a matter of perspective. And as your perspective grows, as your perspective changes, you will see the light forms reflect and change in hues and color and frequency and patterns. These patterns are unique to you and you alone, but the more you can manifest how you want the patterns to change and form by thinking and seeing that those become reality as a manifestation, you will become part of the process you want. I recommend working with Amethyst and other crystals that help you and your perceptions and your cognitions, how your brain sees things. What if you see it through a lens of amethyst or a lens of powerful crystalline energy? If you see things from that perspective, how different would your whole reality be? How ship, how shifted will your ship be as you steer it across the ocean of your mind or the ocean of the light of the reality you live in? That's your choice, and I appreciate you here. I hope you've had a glorious birthday, and that this year ahead of you is full of splendor, promise, and understanding. Understanding of you, understanding of your space, but also a little bit of dissension. Dissension of what you were told you can't do, what you were told that you loved was bad. Dissent against that. If what you love is kind and pure and understanding, then that energy will go back to you. But if it's not, you will see the reflections as well. I hope you've had a powerful day. Gratitude.